Hello friends, this video is the continuation of the concept areas related to circles for the upcoming TET exams and GPSTR exams. Already I have made a video based on this basic points of circles and solved few problems. You can kindly go to the channel description box for the link of that video and you can have a glance. Okay, so in this video we shall continue to solve few more problems related to areas of areas related to circles. So we know the basic point, basic formula that is area of a circle. The formula is pi into radius square. So we write like this pi r square if the radius of the circle is r then pi r square. For circumference pi into diameter that is pi into d you can write r. Diameter is nothing but twice of the radius right. So 2 pi pi into 2 r or 2 pi r. So this is the formula for circumference of the circle we know and remember that diameter is equal to twice of the radius. So as we check out with the value of pi, okay, we can write like this. Generally we say that pi value is 3.14 approximately. So this is an irrational number whose value to 15 decimal places is pi is equal to 3.14159265 it goes up to it goes on continuous okay recurring decimals and so we can also rewrite this formula that is c is, e, c is equal to pi into d you can write from the the ratio of the circumference by diameter is equal to pi this we get from the circumference 2 pi r that is c is equal to 2 pi r and we can also write this pi value as pi is equal to c divided by 2r is nothing but diameter right d hence pi is equal to circumference by diameter we get this formula sometime they may ask you to identify the formula okay just to recall this as we recall about uh, sector and segment you know the region between an arc and the two radii which is joining the ends of the arc here you can consider on the circle two points and this is an arc and the from the center if you draw lines to join this end of an arc and this area covered is called a sector right and you can divide this point the same way about this also we have the other side also there is a sector and the major part which is covered the sector formed by the ma minor arc small arc this area is called as minor sector the sector formed by the major arc so big arc this is a big arc and that area is called as major sector and about segment the region between the chord and either of its arc chord is nothing but a line which is joining any two points on the circumference of the circle and the region between the chord and the either of its arc either this arc or this arc other side is called a segment and the segment found between the minor arc and the chord this side is called as minor segment and the segment formed between the major arc, major arc is this one and the chord is called as major segment, right? These are the points. As we check out with the, the formula related to areas of sector, sometime it may be asked, the formula to calculate the area of the sector is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. Okay, remember area, hence we substitute pi r square. And you know if it is a minor arc there will be some theta which is formed minor arc theta value will be always less than 180 okay and uh, major arc it will be more than 180 and that theta value you will substitute suppose if this minor sec uh, sector which is having 60 degree if you take so 60 divided by 360 into pi r square with the particular radius you can substitute the value and you can get the area of the given sector okay easy formula and you have to remember this suppose in case some numericals are asked you have to substitute this now we shall move to few numericals we shall solve few sums the radii of two circles are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively okay there are two circles one circle which is having 19 centimeter radius another one is having 9 centimeter radius find the radius of the circle a new circle find the radius of the new circle which has a circumference which is equal to sum of their circumferences this two circumferences 
addition we have to do and then you will find the new circle circumference and substituting that value we have to calculate the radius of the third circle okay so what are given circumference of the circle with radius 19 centimeter what is formula 2 pi r is the formula so substitute for the you can take as 2 pi r1 for the first circle 2 pi r2 for the second circle since it is for the tt exams you don't need to substitute uh, calc uh, write the formula and then substitute and then do it you can just do directly okay so 2 pi into r1 is 19 and uh, second circle 2 pi into 9 centimeter is the second one r2 so adding this for the first one you will get 2 into the r value just pi value keep as it is okay 38 pi and 18 pi adding this two you get 56 pi so this 56 pi is the circumference of the two circles that is nothing but what is the formula for circumference c is equal to 2 pi r so here the radius of the third circle is taken as let the required radius is taken as capital letter r in order to just to um, identify r to differentiate that's it and then c value is already we know 56 pi 56 pi on the left hand side which is equal to 2 pi and r pi pi get cancels 56 divided by 2 gives us r value okay so that is nothing but r is equal to 28 centimeter so easily you can just do one more question so here tick the correct answer in the following and justify your choice that will not be there for the tet just check out you can just identify the right answer if the perimeter and the area of a circle are numerically equal to the equal then the radius of the circle is okay perimeter perimeter is nothing but 2 pi r circumference and the area of the circle are equal area of the circle is pi r square if they are equal then you have to calculate the r value so pi pi get cancels 1 r and 1 r get cancels here r is remaining therefore 2 is equal to r that's it so option number 2 units first one is the right answer next example find the area of the sector of circle with radius 4 centimeter and the angle is 30 degree direct question also find the area of the corresponding major sector so the other, other side also we have to find out but in tt only this much will be asked separate questions anyone so what is the formula to calculate the area of a sector we know theta by 360 into pi r square so pi value 3.14 we have to take and r value is 4 centimeter and angle theta is 60 uh, 30 degrees given divided by 360 30 by 360 into 3.14 into r square 4 into 4 on solving this you get the answer as approximately equal to 4.19 centimeter square next find the area of a sector of circle with radius 6 centimeter if the angle of the sector is 60 degree so we know the formula theta by 360 into pi r square is to calculate area of sector theta value is 60 degree substitute and we know r square r value is 6 centimeter so 6 into 6 direct substitution and get the answer if the question is like this find the area of a quadrant of a circle whose circumference is 22 centimeter here circumference is given not the radius and also for the quadrant what is quadrant 1 by 4th part of the circle if you divide the circle into 4 your so 1 2 3 4th part one part is the quadrant right and circumference is given as c is uh, 22 centimeter so what is the formula for circumference of circle 2 pi r so substitute that value 2 pi r is equal to 22 is equal to 2 pi r and pi value we know 22 by 7 only r we can calculate from this so after finding r value that is you will get as 7 by 2 then you substitute for the formula to calculate the area of a sector with the given what is the angle here it's 90 degree right for the quadrant so 90 divided by 360 into pi r square value then you will get the answer going to the next question find the area of the shaded region in the given figure where a b c d is a square of side 14 centimeter so if one side of a square is given as 14 centimeter we have to find the 
area of the shaded region here this region this this or which is shaded in red color so so only one clue is given and using that we have to find out uh, the area of this circles if you find then we can subtract from this total area we can subtract the area of this circle then we'll get the area of this region because these are not in proper shape appropriate geometrical shape if it is in the shapes we could have used the formula to calculate okay so these are not uh, neither triangle nor uh, any other shapes so what we can do is to find the area of this circle we need to have at least radius of this so we don't have the radius but there is a clue given this length full length is given as 14 centimeter so 14 centimeter is nothing but diameter of this two circles right so diameter 2 diameters that is 14 divided by 2 gives us diameter of this one circle that is 7 centimeter is the diameter of one circle and further to calculate the radius 7 divided by 2 that gives us the radius of each circle then you can use the formula to calculate the area of the circle that is pi r square r value is 7 by 2 substitute that and you will get the answer as 72 by 4 and for the four circles 4 into 72 by 2 so you get 154 centimeters square for the all four area of this circles then we need to find the area of this square that is 14 centimeter is one length for square a square is the area if it is taken as a side if it is 14 14 square so 14 square value is 196 centimeter and hence 196 minus 154 centimeter gives us 42 centimeter square so that is the area of the shaded region okay next a similar type of question find the area of the shaded region this shaded region in the figure if a b c d is a square of side 14 centimeter so each side is 14 centimeter and a p d and b p c are semicircles okay so if the full length is 14 centimeter what is this half radius will be 7 centimeter right so using the formula pi r square actually area of the circle is pi r square you can get the area of the circle actually this is not circle for semicircle divided by 2 okay so pi r square by 2 gives us 77 centimeter square and for two semicircles we have so 2 into 77 gives 154 centimeter square so that is the area of this circle then find the area of the entire square 14 into 14 gives us 196 subtract 196 minus 154 that gives us 42 centimeter is the area of the shaded region so like this similar type of sums to calculate the shaded region sometime it might be asked very important questions so work out this problem question given answer is also given without looking at the answer just look at the question and the diagram try to get the answer if you could get the answer kindly comment in the comment box okay we shall continue the remaining numericals related to major segment angles and minor segment angles in the next video if you like this video don't forget to give a like and if you comment the topic to be held in the next video you can comment in the comment section i will take accordingly so last minute revision is very very important in case of maths you have to manage the time while answering the questions because only two minutes for each question is allotted means um, approximately if you just calculate and see you may take around two minutes for each question some question you can answer within this time also no problem you can save the time where it could be and try to answer fast fast for the known questions hence only you can save the time okay so keep preparing for the exams thank you thank you for watching